Good morning. the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit <coughs> the lord be with you let us acknowledge our sins you were sent to heal the country of heart lord have mercy you came to call sinners christ have mercy you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who to safeguard the Catholic faith and restore all things in Christ, filled Pope St. Pius X, with heavenly wisdom and apostolic fortitude, graciously grant that following his teaching and example, we may gain an eternal prize. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The hand of the Lord came upon and led me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me in the center of the plain, which was now filled with bones. He made me walk among the bones in every direction so that I saw many. They were on the surface of the plain, how dry they were. He asked me, Son of man, can these bones come to life? I answered, Lord God, you alone know that. Then he said to me, Prophesy over these bones and say to them, Dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God to these bones, See, I will bring spirit into them, that you may come to life. I will put sinews upon you and make fl fresh grow over you, cover you with skin and put spirit in you so that you may come to life and know that I am the Lord. I prophesied as I have been told. And even as I was prophesying, I heard a noise. It was rattling as the bones came together bone joining bone. I saw the sinews and the flesh come, come upon them, and the skin covered them, but there was no spirit in them. Then the Lord said to me, prophesy to the spirit, prophesy, son of man, and say to the spirit, thus says the Lord God, from the four winds come, O spirit, and breathe into the slain, that they may come to life. I prophesied as he told me, and the Spirit came into them. They came alive and stood upright, a vast army. Then he said to me, Son of man, these bones are the house of Israel. They have been saying, Our bones are dried up, our hope is lost, and we are cut off. Therefore prophesy and say to them, Thus says the Lord God, O my people, I will open your graves and have you rise from them and bring you back to the land of Israel. Then you shall know that I am the Lord when I open your graves and have you rise from them. O my people, I put spirit in you that you may live and I will set, settle upon you in your land, 
Thus you shall know that I am the Lord. I have promised, and I will do it, says the Lord. The Word of God. Thanks be to God. Give thanks to the Lord, his love is everlasting. Give thanks to the Lord, for his love is everlasting. Let the redeemed of the Lord say, those whom he has redeemed from the hand of the foe and gathered from the lands, from the east and the west, from the north and south. Give thanks to the Lord, his love is everlasting. They went astray in the desert wilderness, the way to the inhabited city they did not find. Hungry and thirsty, their life was wasting away within them. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is always everlasting. They cried to the Lord in their distress. From their straits he rescued them and led them by direct way to reach the inhabited city. Give thanks to the Lord, his love everlasting. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his mercy and his wondrous deeds to the children of men, because he satisfied the longing soul and filled the hungry soul with good things. Give thanks to the Lord for his love is everlasting. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, Teach me your paths, O Lord. Guide me in your truth. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When the Pharisees heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together, and one of them, a scholar of the law, tested him by asking, Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? He said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and the first commandment. The second is like it, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. The whole law and the prophets depend on these two commandments. The Gospel of the Lord. Time and again, God keeps encouraging people, and especially in their helplessness. Is it? No? especially in, in helplessness. <clears throat> that is because he wants to show us that he is with us. And one such example is in the first reading, <clears throat> where the dry bone, the image of dry bones coming hopeless situation, God comes to your rescue, is what God is teaching all of us. All that we got to do is that we, that we come back to him and then say, Lord, <clears throat> we are sinners. We got to listen to him. We got to understand what he, his plan is for us. And that plan, he has placed it in the gospel reading today. 
and he says the first commandment is to love god come what may just love him but he was quick in teaching us love your neighbor the whole prophet and the law i mean the entire scripture is based on this this is the summary of the entire scripture sometimes we could be very good in making time for prayer doing everything right receiving the sacraments but sometimes it would be hard for us to forgive our spouse forgive our kids or to forgive somebody who has hurt us and that tells us that's that's not the way that we love god if we love god we got to love our neighbor let's just keep th- thinking about it where am i big on this am i just satisfied you know loving god alone or am i also trying my best to love my neighbor amen and the volume i think is not able to hear that let us turn to our god the source of life and present our prayers to him that all members of the church may be refreshed in faith by the same life-giving spirit that emboldened pope pius the 10th whom we celebrate today let us pray to the lord lord hear our prayer that those who exercise authority in our world may be blessed with wisdom and compassion let us pray to the lord lord hear our prayer that those suffering from depression grief or hopelessness may experience the healing power of god let us pray to the lord lord hear our prayer that the holy spirit may continue to transform every heart in this community to full a fullness of love let us pray to the lord lord hear our prayer For those who have died this past week and for those who are mourning the loss of someone dear to them let us pray Lord hear our prayer For the intention of this morning's mass for Bob Dean let us pray Lord hear our prayer And for the needs within our prayer boxes the needs expressed through the prayer chain and those held in the silence of our hearts Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, hear and answer the prayers we bring before you this day. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are the Lord God of all creation for the goodness we have received the bread we offer you fruit of the earth and work of human hands it will become for us the bread of life 
blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer with humble and contrite heart. Lord, wash my iniquities and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive with kindness our oblations, and grant, O Lord, we pray, that following the teachings of Pope St. Pius, we may celebrate these divine mysteries with sincere reverence and receive them in a spirit of truth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. And his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord. Lord. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the high. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them let the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the roll, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, David, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of their resurrection, and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph as spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. 
we may merit to be quiet, stood on our life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. <clears throat> Let us pray together the family prayer Jesus taught us. Our Father, <coughs> not in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. <coughs> As we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the risen Christ be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord. Not worthy that you should enter to my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. <clears throat> Celebrating the memorial of Pope St. Pius, we pray, O Lord our God, that by the power of this heavenly table, we may be made constant in the faith and be of one accord in your love. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us go in the peace of Christ.